Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Ashley Grimm. I am the Kirkwood Transportation Business Liaison here at Kirkwood Community College. Today, I am coming to you with Greg Stewart. Uh, he is a retiree of the transportation industry, over 40 plus years of experience, and he is going to be talking to us along with Derek Crockett from BLX. He is the Director of Account Management those two are going to talk to us today about uh, the ever so popular transportation, uh, emerging leaders in transportation cert certification that we offer. First, I'm going to start out with having Greg and Derek introduce themselves. So, Greg, I'm going to turn it over to you. All right. Thanks, Ashley. My name is Greg Stewart. And I, uh, as Ashley said, I recently retired this year, January of uh, 2022. I retired after 40, dates me now, 42 years in transportation. So I've, um, I've been passionate about the industry, I've stayed in it. It's been my lifeline, my lifeblood. I've done just about everything you can think of and had the fortunate opportunity to do about everything you could think of uh, in all the capacities within transportation, warehousing, distribution, logistics, uh, from operations to human resources to safety. And believe it or not, when I was in college, I got my career in business by driving a truck. So. Uh, and I stayed at that until I graduated college and uh, ultimately we met my wife, we got married and then I, I moved on the other side of the wall as my good friend Dan Baker would say, I started working on the inside and, and uh, you know, I just, it, it started and it hooked me and I just stayed with it. I spent 17 years with Walmart Logistics, 13 years with Heartland Express and uh, I stopped, had uh, directed the uh, Kirkwood Transportation Program for a few years and I retired from King's Material here in town after about six years with them. And I was the fleet manager overseeing their, all their wheeled assets uh, at the end of my career. So um, it's been an all encompassing journey. I've enjoyed the heck out of it. And uh, it provided very well for me and my family. And I think that's what's encouraging for people in transportation. There's so much you can do, so much you can experience and uh, there's plenty of opportunity out there. So thanks for having me. Thanks, Greg. And Derek, could you introduce yourself? Yes, absolutely. So a little less veteran than Greg. Um, I've only been in the industry for about six years now. Um, <laughs> I came out of college with an accounting degree um, and joined BLX uh, as an account manager, um, helping move shipments. I moved on to be controller, CFO, and now my current role where I just help oversee and lead uh, the company in all aspects. Uh, so BLX, um, <clears throat> we are a freight brokerage. Essentially, we just ensure our customers freight is moved from A to B by utilizing our carriers. Um, we handle a variety of different modes from less than truckload, full truckload, drayage, expedited, you name it. Um, a ton of different industries, all the way from electronics um, to oil and gas, uh, quite a wide range of shipments that we move. Um, and just, you know, my experience when I started, we we're only doing one million a year. And now we're going to finish over 125 million a year in revenue. So a lot of experience in a short amount of time, I'd say. Um, but yeah, it's been it's been great. So yeah, thanks for having me here as well. Well, thanks, Derek. As you guys can see, there's a lot of opportunity. We have a great demand in the transportation industry, and a lot of opportunity to be upskilled and to advance your career in what I would say is a pretty amazing industry because typically you don't really have the same day. So if you like some excitement in your day uh, and uh, a little bit of a challenge, then I would say uh, what a great opportunity to, to get into the transportation industry. And these two gentlemen are going to talk about the transportation emerging leaders uh, certification that we have and what uh, Derek, you had went through the course. Greg, you facilitated our first course. It's been a huge hit and back by popular demand, we're going to offer this course again on January 19th. So Greg, without further ado, I will turn it over to you. Well, thank you. I, uh, I think I'll talk a little bit about the course. You know, we've set this up well, the college has set it up. I'm just the facilitator, uh, but the college has set it up in such a way that I think it's, it's, it's user-friendly for both the employer and the employee. Uh, we've got five uh, eight-hour sessions from January to March 
Um, so they're all day, but we've never, we didn't set it up or it wasn't set up to where it's, it's, it's taking anyone away from the workplace for an extended period of time, which is nice. So we, we've got one eight hour session in uh, early January, another one in late January. We've got two sessions in February, again, with enough separation between the dates that it doesn't really put any undue burden on anyone. And then the last session is held in March. And uh, I think what's nice about what we're doing is we've, we've, we're trying to encompass a, a lot of material in that compressed amount of time. And I think we, what I, what I really felt, we, what reached the audience last time we did it was that it, it really helped people that might not necessarily have been uh, um, working in one in, in people management, whatever. Um, you may not have a, some of the folks in attendance uh, maybe didn't deal in HR, but they got a little bit of an exposure to how HR works and how you, you work through uh, problems and challenges and how, do, how in my role does that help me in understanding what the role HR has. Um, again, two things on, on the numbers itself, some accounting, we, we, we delved into accounting a little bit and I think that helped uh, students understand all that goes into the, the transportation, uh, the financials. And, uh, you know, Derek knows that he's, he's got an accounting degree, but it's, uh, it, it was interesting to, to watch those exercises go through the class because some folks had never been exposed to that. So communication and uh, problem resolution, uh, claims management, uh, the whole global supply chain and logistics challenges that we have going on in the world right now. Um, that in itself is could be the whole course, I think. But um, so we've cut out pieces that are, are, are critical, I think, to an individual's success. And one of those things, I think, and the, the takeaway is from the group that we had last early in the year, I believe they all were able to then take components of the class, and, and I'm sure, and I'll ask Derek that question later, but implement them uh, into their workplace. And hopefully there's, there's success stories out there uh, for each of them as we, uh, as we move now to the next course. But for employers, I think it's important that they understand that being able to allow employees to build their toolbox, whether it's through internal uh, continuing ed or external continuing ed, I think is critically important in keeping people in the industry. Um, that's one of the reasons I work for great companies that, that allowed for that to happen. And I'm convinced that, that by allowing that to happen, I, I stayed in the industry for over 40 years. And I, I will take that to the bank anytime because I will have great employers that allowed me to continue to learn and grow. And that, was, that kept me interested. So I think when I say all that for Derek, so you've been through it, and I guess I asked this question to anyone that would have been there. What was the biggest takeaway that you got? Because again, you have an accounting background. So it would, it would be maybe be interested for our audience today to say, okay, here's what the biggest aha moment I got out of the class. So I'll let you talk about that there. Oh, definitely. Yeah, it was, you know, like you were saying, Greg, it was really good to, to just see just a lot of exposure to different things that most people you wouldn't take into account, you know, on your, your day to day, uh, especially in transportation. If you're just worried about moving freight to eight to from A to B, you're not really thinking about, you know, claims or HR issues or just things outside of your realm that are still a part of it. So it's really great to get that exposure. Um, and everybody in the class, you know, they had different perspectives. So even just talking amongst each other and getting the conversations going was really good. Um, for me personally, uh, you know, the claims actually hit home the most. They were just things we weren't thinking about on a regular basis or, or risk factors or, um, I mean, claims, you know, you hope to never have them, but there's a lot you can do on the forefront to plan them. And, and there were definitely takeaways we took from that and have implemented since. Um, but yeah, it was, it all started from those conversations, the leaders coming in and just showing us possible scenarios and then just talking with everybody about, oh yeah, I've actually seen that, or here's how we handle that. Um, and just kind of working through it and, and taking key concepts home. Can I ask you, and I don't want to, I'm putting you on the spot, but when, and that, that was the next question. What was one of those 
key takeaways or one of the things you were able to implement and you mentioned a whole different approach to claims. So did you, I guess I could ask the question, did you, did you share your knowledge then or teach others about what you learned? And then did you maybe assign a, a task or a, a challenge to someone based on your learnings from the class that you're now working, that is now a work in progress or it is working within your organization? Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, when we went over the whole claim situation, there there's just key items that we we should be looking for just as a default. And there was uh, probably two items specifically that weren't on our current checklist. Um, so we've implemented those, but even more so, you know, taken from the class, I'm sure you can read those things online, but being the exposure, I had actual scenarios to walk through our team so they understood why we were doing it. Um, so it was, you know, that understanding factor is a big thing as you progress as a company, at least for us, is making sure your employees understand why and being surrounded by people that had actual scenarios of, you know, here's what happened if you don't. It just made it so much easier to get that buy-in and, and really initiate it and people follow through. Great, great. I know, and I think you mentioned something in, in one of your answers there uh, about your connectivity or connection with the other students in the class, the other professionals in the class. And, you know, one of the things that we talk about in that course is that whole communication and, and creating dialogue. And, and I, one thing I've always found in transportation, as long as I've done it, I still stay in touch with people. This is, this is true. I still stay in touch with people that I worked with 15, 20, and 25 years ago. Uh, I was actually in conversation with one of my coworkers from Walmart who I have not seen, but we've talked but haven't worked together in 15 years. But we, 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 were, we were communicating yesterday via text. And, uh, and those are the types of relationships I think that can be built from the class. So you, now you've got students that you are co-students co that you were with that you've got now a connection somewhere with another organization that you may pick up the phone someday and say, hey, can I bounce this off of you? Here's what we're doing. How's that working for you? And from an employer standpoint, um, Ashley, I think that's one of the things that I hope that happens with the students when they when they move away from the from the course is that they've built those external relationships with others that they can lean on. And, um, you know, again, I'll lean all Dan Baker. Um, transportation is 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 all about the trucks and the trailers and the freight and here and there and all that. But it's a people business always has been always will be. So uh, we've got everything, all of the support tools we need out there. But when it comes down to running that day to day business, it's all about the people. So. Well, thank you both. Derek, is there uh, one thing that you would say um, as to why an employer would want to send their employee to this course? Absolutely. Um, you you know, Greg kind of mentioned it earlier too, if, if you're looking for that continued education, um, but not just, you know, another course that checks a box off and you want something that, you know, your leaders can go to get different perspectives and really indulge in conversation with other leaders, um, that, that was hands down the best part. You know, you can, you can go on YouTube and, and learn stuff, sure, but getting in the classroom, being surrounded by people. And, you know, Greg did a phenomenal job of understanding people's perspectives. And at the end of uh, a course, would kind of start that conversation amongst everybody um, and really get them engaged, you know? So everybody at some point was communicating um, a story or something they'd done to really just progress everyone and, and help in that development. Thanks, Derek. Yeah, we had several different uh, companies, employers in within the industry, uh, anywhere from freight brokers to uh, transportation, uh, actual truck driving companies to auto or excuse me, diesel mechanic <laughs> uh, repair shops and dealers and uh, insurance 
uh, companies as well. So it was a wide range of employers and everybody was able to bounce ideas, share obstacles that they've had and gain new perspectives as uh, and take back to their own um, job that they're doing. So if you all have someone that you may know that needs upskilled or would like uh, some more knowledge around the transportation industry, maybe growing, uh, looking to advance their career, take on that leadership role or leaders, new leaders that need some upskilling, or if you just wanna network with other folks in the industry, this would definitely be the course for you. If you have questions, feel free to reach out to Kirkwood Corporate Training. You can call me directly, 319-398-7130. Again, Ashley Grimm at Kirkwood Community College. We look forward to seeing you all. Thank you.